Welcome back. We got Tom Cruise on the show tonight. <laughs> Would you say greatest guest? Greatest guest we've had on the show? Yeah, it's Tom Cruise and then uh, the one property brother we like more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what's your favorite, what's your top three Cruise movies? I think Top Gun is yeah. definitely is the first one. You've seen the new one, right? I've seen the new one. Oh. It, might, it might be in the top three. It was such a it's good time. So good. I ate so much popcorn. I like cheered a bunch. I, I was like, I was so happy. I was like, oh, it's the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> it's. It's the 90s. You're like, yeah, man, what are you doing? Um, I am talking to my babysitter about where dinner is. <laughs> <laughs> These are really important things. Look, you've got you've to love his honesty. And any other day, any other day, that would be, that would be frowned upon. But not today, because it's Guillermo's birthday today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Guillermo. Much. Do you know what? As a birthday present to you, G, we're going to give you 30 seconds, any kind of drum solo you want for 30 seconds, OK? <laughs> All right, put 30 seconds on the clock. Put it on the clock. OK, are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Hit it. so much. We love you, Guillermo. We do. I appreciate that. We love you. I, uh, I also really like Minority Report. I think that's a good one. <laughs> hey, so it was the Met Gala last night in New York City. I went, had the honor of attending. The theme was Gilded Glamour. Gilded Glamour, which makes sense, you know, since the Supreme Court leak. The country is currently moving back to the 1800s. It all... <laughs> It all went together last night. It was a great night. I had a great time. It was fantastic. Uh, the first time in two decades, Hillary Clinton attended the Met Gala. Here she is here. Look at that. <laughs> Perfect time to dress like it's The Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> I was actually sat next to Hillary. I was sat next to Hillary, yeah. yeah. What, what is, like... Dinner conversation with Hillary Clinton, like. Did... Oh, but she's just exceptional. Really? You talk about anything. I mean, I'll be honest, you're, you're talking about something, but so many people want to come over and, you know, just say hi to her and be around her for a minute that it's, it's a stilted and you end up saying to, like, you know, share. Will you just give me a minute? <laughs> Uh, no, she was, it was, she was just amazing. I mean, she is the easiest person to talk to. She always asks about, like, the kids. She always asks about whether we're happy. She is, she's, she's exceptional. Yeah. Although I will say this, you better believe it, she left with Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> she, she was like, oh, it, like, it, was a, it was a lie. What I just did was lie. <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker arrived in this towering headpiece. Look at that. And just like that, no one behind her could see anything. <laughs> I love that. Anything that would let me claim I'm six foot five, I'm into. That's the truth. <laughs> Anderson Pack turned up. Did you see him? He arrived in style. Look at that. Look. <laughs> he looks like every era of the Beatles in one. <laughs> I don't think I could pull that look off. It does make me wonder what I'd look like if I tried. Not my hair colour. <laughs> look at that. I look like the little Dutch boy. <laughs> Do you think we could bring that look back? Do you think if I really... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> could I do it, do you think? Yes. Yeah? Yes. It's not a bad look. Would no. you go for that look? No. <laughs> you wouldn't go for the Anderson pack? No, I, no, no. He's really cool. <laughs> 
I, wow. Wow. You look like Catherine Zeta-Jones in Cabaret. <laughs> Did you see what Sebastian Stan was wearing? Sebastian Stan went with this head-to-toe, hot pink look. Look at that. <laughs> it's the look that screams, come on, Barbie, let's go party. <laughs> I saw him on the carpet, I thought, I see, can we see it again? Look at that. I looked at him, I thought, oh, mate, I, I get it. I said, I hate it. I hate it when I pull my whites out of the wash. And I <laughs> realised there was a red sock snuck. Kylie Jenner wore a bridal dress with a veil that was paired with a backwards baseball cap. Look at that. And if you don't like the look, speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> Kylie looks like a bride who's having a destination wedding. And that destination is Dave and Buster's. <laughs> You're getting married. You're getting married soon. If Dana said, oh, I want to wear... I want to wear a backwards hat with the gown, would you go for it? I would go for mm -hmm. it. I, I think just based on the amount of Entourage DVDs I own, people would assume I would marry someone wearing a backwards hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that she would go for it. No, I'm certain she wouldn't. Did everybody see Broadway producer Jordan Roth? He wore what was described as an exploding tuxedo, OK? Here he is with the jacket on, and here it is with the jacket off. <laughs> is that an exploding tuxedo? No. Or is he trying to shoplift a Christmas tree? <laughs> Tell you what, though, the look, it works. It does work, though, doesn't it? I think it works. I mean, we're talking about Jordan Roth right now. <laughs> were you talking about Jordan Roth yesterday? <laughs> Exactly. I told you, it works. <laughs> Lizzo arrived on the red, red carpet. She was playing the flute, and she was playing the flute with corkscrew nails. Look at that. You've heard of Edward Scissorhands. This is wine-poor Lizzo hands. <laughs> I do think I saw her with that flute. I was like, that is the perfect party accessory. You see someone approaching you don't want to talk to. You know, someone's walking up, and they're like, hey, you just... Nothing they can do. They always walk off. Here's Australian actor Cody Smith-McPhee. Look at that. He looks less like he's attending the Met Gala and more like he's there to unclog your shower drain. <laughs> I'll be honest, I, th I thought the theme was gilded glamour, not I've just helped a cow give birth. <laughs> I mean, talk, talk me through this. You, you look at an invite, it says gilded glamour, and that's what you decide to wear. Talk me, talk me through the choice. Well, you know, they had serial killers in the 1850s. That's so. yeah. <laughs> Kim Kardashian wore one of the most famous dresses of all time, the exact dress Marilyn Monroe wore to sing Happy Birthday to JFK. It's valued at more than $5 million. Oh, sure, yeah, but if I wear a leather jacket, once worn by James Dean, I'm having a midlife crisis. <laughs> she looks amazing. In honour of the occasion, Pete Davidson immediately had the dress tattooed on his neck. <laughs> and finally, Jared Leto and Gucci creative director Alessandro Di Michele showed up, it was so good, as matching twins. Look at them there, look at that. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if they just started remaking all of the early Olsen twin movies? <laughs> Bold choice to come as twins, even bolder, was Meryl Streep's twin outfit with Guy Fieri. <laughs> when we come back, Tom Cruise and Monica Barbaro are here. You want to come back, everybody?